Hello everyone, this is Alex. Today what I'm going to do is the first part of hopefully a long series divulging everything I know about CryEngine. What I'm going to do in this video is like kind of an introduction thing, I'm going to go over getting it set up and allow you to get started with CryEngine and a couple of things you need to know to get started. So let's get to it. So we're going to need a few tools and I'll explain why we need them. The first one being this one I've got here on Spectrum, which is a tool by Dimec, and it is his magical CGF fixer. Now what this does, it converts all the CIG assets to be usable within vanilla CryEngine. Now we're going to be using CryEngine instead of Lumberyard because this tool only works with CryEngine, it does not work with the current versions of Lumberyard, which is really honestly not that big a deal. And so we're going to need a few things off here. So what we need first is this CGF fixer. And then just below it, another thing we need is this MTL converter. Now the CGF fixer is an EXE file that will fix all the geometry files so they work within CryEngine. Because currently they don't. And the MTL converter will fix any errors that come from the material files because it's a slightly different version of CryEngine. And... It will also allow us to use Dimex Layer Blend Shader as well, which is a reconstructed version of the CIG Layer Blend Shader, which is what gives the character so much detail. Let's get, oh, another thing we'll need as well is the Unpack tool. Now, this tool will allow us to extract Star Citizen assets from Alpha 3.0. So what we're going to do on Spectrum here, we're going to get the CGF fixer, because so I'm going to open that in a new tab. We're going to get the MTL converter. We're going to get Hollow Explorer, the Data Forge tool, which is from Alaran. And we also need the Unpack tool as well. So, what, what we're going to do is just download all these. So, I'm going to download the cgfixer.exe on GitHub. And I'm going to download the MTL converter and the Shader Pack uh, from GitHub, the Data Forge tool and the unpack tool as well. And what I'm going to do, just in another tab real quick, I am going to go to a alpha 3.0 directory. So what I've done here is if I just load up File Explorer and I'm going to go to where I saved my Star Citizen build. So this is where you install Star Citizen. Uh, here it is here. So it's not in data, sorry, it's in this P4K pack file here, this pack file. This uh, changed from various different pack files when they changed to the Delta Patcher. So this is what you need. So you need to copy this data.p4k to an alternate directory. Do not do this where you save Star Citizen and extract it here. And then what we need is this unpack.zip. Uh, so we're going to extract that here. And as you can see, we have now extracted it. So what we are interested in is this unpack.exe. So take the data.p4k and then just drag and drop over the unpack.exe and it'll do its thing. It takes quite a while, so I'm going to leave that there. But you can see it'll start extracting stuff into this data folder here. Okay, so once we're done, we're gonna be left with these folders here. So we're gonna have data, engine, mod, and engine and mod. So what we want to do is take the MTL converter, the CGF fixer, and Hollow Explorer Data Forge, and move those into the data folder. See, I've already done it here. And then you just take the objects directory, drop it under the CGF fixer, and it'll start getting to work. Do exactly the same thing with the MTL converter, and the, that will get to work as well. It will take a little while to start to read through all the folders because there's a lot of data in here, um, but it'll get started. So I'm just going to leave it there and let it start to run. Okay, so you can see here it's beginning to do its thing, so this does take a while, so if you just leave it to do its thing and then come back later, it will be done. And then, once that's finished, the next step is to get CryEngine installed, and which you can do while this is converting if you want to. And to do that, you go to the CryTech website, and then just on the uh, CryEngine.com here, just click on Get CryEngine. You'll, you will have to sign up, which is fine, and then download, and it will download the launcher. And then, once you get it here, you need to create a new project and select the CryEngine version. Just choose the latest one, in my opinion. And you can do 
uh, you can set a preset as well, so it can be a rolling, slide, sliding, first person, whatever preset you want. Set the project name and install location. So I'll call this uh, I'll call this Cry Engineering, and you can set the location directory as well, and then click on Create Project. I'm not going to do this because the build I use uh, doesn't have the launcher enabled. Uh, but in your case, you're going to want to use this. The rest of the um, the rest though is pretty straightforward. And then there's two ways. Once you've done that, there's two ways you can do it. You can launch the project from in here and click on Launch Editor, or you can go to the build directory, which in my case is in the following. So my my build is saved in this directory here because it's a shared build with Fiendish Feather, Teller, and others. Um. So to get to the exe file, the sandbox exe, which is what the editor is, you go to CryEngine, bin, Windows x64, and scroll down and you'll find sandbox.exe, and you can run this independent of the launcher, usually. If you can't, you can just launch it from the launcher here. Okay. And you'll get that annoying little thing there. So I'm going to quit the launcher there. So once this is all done all you have to do is take all the data in here personally i will just take the objects prefabs textures ui animation uh, animations and lives and materials. so while they are leave entities levels localization object containers scripts and sounds because we don't really need them and the levels has levels you can't access in cryengine anyway because these are all baked so, like I said, animations, libraries, objects, prefabs, textures, UI. Um, you can probably take sounds as well, but I'm not completely sure. And then you just copy these folders and then go to wherever you've saved CryEngine. So in my case, it is here. And then it would CryEngine, and then it'll have your project name here. So like earlier, this would say CryEngineering if I use the CryEngineering name. And then you just paste in there and it will start to do its magic. Okay, so once we've got all the assets imported into CryEngine, <clears throat> there's one more thing we need to do, and that is to bring in the shader pack, which is very simple. If we just open the shader pack.zip that we got off Dynamax GitHub, and then you see in the folder here, there's a folder called shader, shaders and scripts and barely shader things. So to bring this into engine, it's really simple. We just go into where we have our CryEngine directory, and we go to, so in CryEngine here, we go to, is it Engine? And then that's the shaders folder here. So all you have to do in the Engine folder, so it's the root of the CryEngine, CryEngine, Engine, and then shaders, and then just basically copy it into here, which I'm not going to do obviously, because I've already got it working. And that's how you import the layer blend shader that Dimec made.